A new book about the importance of mentors called Only As Good As Your Word recently hit store shelves. It was written by Michigan native Susan Shapiro, and she's joining us this morning to talk about her new memoir. Good morning. Thanks. Thanks for being here. Thanks for having me. Tell us about this new book. Well, what happened was that um, I was trying to write a novel that was rejected for six years, and I was really depressed. And so, as I say in my book, go to your mentors and ask what's going on. And I have this great Detroit mentor, Laura Berman, who writes for the Detroit News. And I said, read the novel. Tell me why it's not selling. So Laura said to me, you have no imagination whatsoever. Stop writing fiction. Write a memoir. And she said, you write best about people you love. So that completely unlocked me. And so I wrote a book called Five Men Who Broke My Heart, which was a total breakthrough about my um, ex-boyfriends and my husband. Then I wrote another book about people I love called Lighting Up about my family and my addiction specialist who helped me quit cigarettes. So when, I, when it came time to writing another book, I thought, who else do I love that I could exploit? And I thought, my mentors. I have these fantastic mentors. So that led to Only As Good As Your Word. And what, is there any significance to the title? Um, well, it's Only As Good As Your Word, writing lessons from my favorite literary gurus. And I go through and find um, the people who helped inspire me the most, including my Michigan high school teacher, Jack Zucker, who turned me on to poetry when I was at Roper City and Country School when I was 15 years old. So it's kind of only as good as your word is, like you're only as good as how well you write. Absolutely. Why is mentoring so important? Um, I think a lot of times if you're um, confused or lost, if you emulate someone you admire, that's a great way out of the problem. For example, one of the mentors I write about in the book was my cousin Howard Fast, who's um, a bestseller, 70 books, including Spartacus. And at one point I went to him and I said, you know, I'm, I'm having writer's block, what should I do? And his advice was, he said, uh, plumbers don't get plumber's block. And he said, don't be self-indulgent, get back to work, a page a day is a book a year. And, I, and he completely, again, he completely unblocked me. So I think sometimes if you're, um, if you're having trouble, you don't know a direction, having a role model who's older, who's already done it, and also very, very important, who's gonna tell you the truth. Because uh, again, one of, the, one of my favorite lines in my book is that if you have a sycophants, you're gonna turn into Michael Jackson. So the beautiful thing about a mentor is you'll go to them and you'll ask them a question, and they're not gonna lie. They're gonna tell you, you know, the unadulterated truth. And a lot of times, if you're willing to listen to that criticism and incorporate it um, and make a change, reinvent yourself, that's the secret of success right there. All right, thank you so much for coming in this morning to thank tell you us so such much. a new book season. Thank you.